This how's our lighting? Okay. You look good. No, <laughs> you look good. No, just kidding. <laughs> you know, it's so <laughs> No. <laughs> All right, Mandy and I. This is Mandy. Hi. She's my worky bestie. <laughs> well, she's my bestie bestie. <laughs> It also works with me. And we are outside of the Scrap Exchange. On a field trip. On a field trip today. Mm -hmm. And we are on a hunt for an altered book journal. An altered book I want to make my first altered book with Karen. Yes. Mandy's never made one before and it's like my most favorite thing to do. <laughs> so, I brought along because we are at the place where the sun and is you horrible. See the sun. Let me get out of the way. So this <laughs> is my favorite journal of all time and I... It's all completed. All these projects are on YouTube, and I got it. It all started here at the Scrap Exchange, which is where we're sitting right now. It's like this dilapidated dump. <laughs> dump. It's like my most favorite place on earth. <laughs> so, so don't think that we're saying dump like it's a bad thing because this place is a magical dump. And I got this book here last time for 25 cents, and Perfect. it's like a defaced old drawing book, and I can't wait to go and find another one and we're gonna hunt through all of their crap and we're gonna go find some amazing books that we can alter and just to give you a heads up if you are out shopping at a thrift store and you don't know what to get this is what you want to be looking for and i just picked this one up at sorry no like, go for just it cover me up <laughs> I, it's your channel i just <laughs> <laughs> I just picked this one up and I think I'm gonna do this one so what you want to be looking for and I've done some videos on this before but you want matte pages that are like mm -hmm. super duper duper flat okay you can totally have color that's fine mm -hmm. but no gloss no gloss because it's hard to work over okay um, and I like books that are not too thick mm -hmm. because then you have to end up having to a lot of times tear the pages out okay which is fine but it's just like a lot yeah. more work and I personally get intimidated because then you're like oh my god that's like a hundred projects that I have to, to do so I like yeah. to like this one is I think it only had I don't know how many pages maybe 30 pages I'm like okay. oh, 30 like that's okay. You That's like a digestible that. yeah. number because I like to really fill them. I don't want to know that this is not going to be done someday. Yeah. But that's okay. just me. So Okay. And you don't have to. You can buy a big big old binder book and mm -hmm. fill the crap out of it. And people have junk journal, which is that can be called. Okay. And they just junk it up. And that's totally fine too. But the kind of journal that I like to do is I like to really open a page mm -hmm. and like make like feel like this will be a whole spread, spread yeah. masterpiece like in and of itself almost mm -hmm. like a legacy piece like I want my my grandchild to inherit this and be yeah. like look what we what a weirdo grandma was <laughs> like she made this lady <laughs> with like a long cigarette like <laughs> yeah. that's super normal that's awesome you know yes so there's a few records in here do you want yeah. some records I have some at home already I don't know how much they are here. Any of this is. These are only 50 cents at my Goodwill, so it depends on how expensive they are. But I love me. I've done tons of. Have you ever worked on a record cover? No. Oh, these are fun. These are the perfect substrate, to be honest. I have tons, as you know. Well, then I'll get one of those. Get some of those. Yeah. Here, three of those. That's okay. Three. This one's a little dilapidated. Mm hmm. So I think the rest is magazine. It's all max. All right, so let's go to the children's section okay. next. Let's see where we can go. Oh, I bet you that's music. Yeah, songbooks Ooh. are perfect, actually. Because they're almost 99% of the time they're matte. And who doesn't want to see a music note like oh. through somebody's face? <laughs> totally. I know I do. I'll be like any of these are perfect and you know these are good just to have because you can just rip out the pages and collage mm -hmm. with them anyways so it's, these are great to pick up and some of these are pretty thick books too and I don't think they're gonna charge you you know oh and fabric crafts these are good too sometimes you can oh, get okay. like um I'll have fabric what's it called depends on the magazine Oh, these are all glossy, so no on the gloss. No on the gloss. Wedding song. That was my parents' song. Stop it. Really? Yes. Uh -huh. See? You never know what you're going to find. These are baby ones. I want more. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, that's what I'm talking about. You like that kind? I do, for sure. Because you don't have to distress them. They like come pre distressed, although they are, they can be more expensive. Like, this is $6. Yeah. But I love, like, this is like why Tim Holtz came up with like distressed stains, <gasps> is to make look, it look aged. like those. And they're already genuinely aged. I love that. I see, yes, but again, I already have a bunch of these. Uh, but you should be totally. Like, it's it's cute. Cute. That's cute. The more brittle, the better. <laughs> Democracy series. Oh, look at this one. And see, I like having like the fonts. See yeah, how they're so different? Like these are big and these are tiny. So when you do collage, mm -hmm. I like having a little bit different. Debit to credit. Oh my god. <laughs> Timeless. But this is not good because it has glossy pages and so that yeah. one goes back. That's some cool like, French bow. Yeah. Children's section I always have good luck in. But any of these. So you can choose hardcover. You probably have to go in and take out a bunch of pages. You can go through and systematically like thin it out, which is why you choose books with a, like a threaded spine and not a glued spine. Oh, doesn't fall apart on you. Okay. Yeah, you can actually go and see how there's like there's names for all the book parts. Yeah. There's like they're called like stories. You can go find the middle pages. You can like score and like remove them nicely, oh. but then the thread stays okay. binding the other ones. That's cool. So you can absolutely use a bigger book if you want to. Oh. These are the books. They're a dollar each. Yes. Christmas in Austria. Too glossy. Yep. And I always have good luck in the children's department. Oh, losing Uncle Tim. So sad. <laughs> Uncle Tim. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> He's so mean. Oh. <laughs> These are depressing. These books are timeless. Death and divorce. <laughs> Too old. <laughs> Boredom Busters. Oh. <laughs> All right, so we just got back. Are we there? Where we are? Oh, so close. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> we just got back from the scrap exchange. And what did we find? We had some great finds. This one was yes. awesome. So we Alice in Wonderland. And I found one that's paper dolls. Yeah. Yes. But it's a nice size. It's smaller than Karen's. because. I need to work smaller. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then there's a really fun board book. If you guys are into authoring books. Yeah. But it's a cool shape. I love this outline. It's it cool. be fun to play with. Yeah. And it's not too, it is a little glossy, but I think you can get away with it if you probably sand it lightly. Okay. Which I have. Okay. Actually here. And then you can gesso on top of it. Okay. Or I, I would actually literally take this outside and spray paint. Okay. With primer. Okay. You could prime it. Totally. You're using acrylics. Mm -hmm. Is that clean water? Hey! <laughs> Boop! <laughs> we call Rosie Boopsy because she boopses everyone. So once you've picked out your art journal, getting started is actually super fast and easy. If your book is too thick, you can go ahead and systematically just remove pages as you wish till you get it to the number of pages that you'd like to do projects in. And then what I like to do is for books that are a little bit older is I go through and I systematically tape the each center of each page with decorative duct tape that will shore up the whole book so when I go to town on it I don't forget that very important step um, 
it also just adds to the integrity of the book make sure it lasts a long time and then once you it also helps um, inform my cover my color scheme for each page and then once you're ready to go you can put gesso down and start painting or if you're using watercolors I like to start with absorbent ground which is available on Amazon and in your fine art stores and then you're ready to go you can literally collage, paint, draw, activate things with water, and do anything to this journal that you would normally do to watercolor paper or to canvas. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you for further projects on YouTube coming up every single week. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.